So finally, we are here in Kaiser Redux. And yes, I will go to Afghanistan as I promised in my last Kaiser Redux video when we hit those 5000 likes. Hello there everyone, it's me again, Cock and Ball Torch General here. Back again in this Swedish map game called Hearts of Iron 4. And if we today hit another 5000 likes on this video, I will regain my sanity. Just kidding, it's all already lost. And the yeah, next video will be special for 60,000 subscribers reading the Cossacks letter to Ottoman Sultan. So subscribe if you don't want to miss that. But now, I know my destiny. So we here as Afghanistan, we will be swallowing a lot of dust. I would play that song, but I don't want to be used and abused by record labels. Bill Glatayu, what a banger. And you know, I thought it would be worse. Just look at my arm, it's pretty good. Also, we have decent amount of manpower and factories. And we have generic focus tree, but that's not the worst thing here. And two research slots. I would guess that Afghanistan would have zero, but... 2 is good. So now we just have to wait until Black Monday hits, the world economy crashes, Kerensky fucking dies, and then we can go to Dominion of Delhi with our leader, Habibullah Khan. Now here's the decision for the 5th Anglo-Afghan war. Let's fucking go! And now what we need to do is, what I like to call it, the come gambit to the sea. We need to advance along this river so we will have a better position in defending our land. Because if you didn't know, Dominion of Delhi is in Antant. And all these shitheads will come and defend them. Fuck off with Great Berlin Stock Market Crash, the 5th Anglo-Afghan war is the real shit. Also shut the fuck up. Now our cam gambit was a major success. We can easily hold this river line forever. I don't care about the China, I just care about my nice river line. And just waiting in my trenches for the Frenchies and Canadians to show up. Ah, finally they are here. I just fucking love how the AI is trying to cross these mountains here. Very advanced AI if you ask me. Ah yes, the great Afghanistan's line. I think we should be fine for the most part here. And for now, fucking Australians, they want to get gallipolied here. It looks like we are winning, but sometimes it looks like that we are about to lose. Now that Antant lost over 100,000 people, I will try to make some gains here. Surprisingly, it's going pretty well. It could be better, but at least it's not as painful as this Africa right now. Yeah, this is total anarchy. Ah, now the war isn't that fun when I'm pushing and not you. Yeah, this war is pretty good. Afghanistan, strongest country in the world. Yeah, micromanagement is king. And now India is without a seaport. So that means that all the foreign forces will starve to death here. Isn't that nice? <sighs> I love when a nice invasion comes together. Now I have to conclude that this war will be soon over by the Ramadan boys. Don't mind me, I'm just taking my horse on a little tour around India. Oh, I got a feeling that Delhi will be undefended. And I'm right, as always. Just walk around the country and war will be soon over. I even have air superiority with my little little air force. You see Afghanistan will soon rule the whole India. You know this conflict is pretty sad because they declined my generous offer to secede most of their country to me. Now I have to destroy the whole country. And also with the land that I now occupy I can declare the Mughal restoration. Let's go and it court some states here. So yeah look at our manpower now. Nothing will stop us. Now how many people do I have to kill? 
to end this bloody war. SMH my head. Sometimes it's fucking annoying to take every city to capitulate the country. I fucking hate it. It always makes me to go full Anakin on the younglings. Still no capitulation there. 95% towards it. I call this a bad mod design. Mm, not yet, we are still not there. It seems like that I have to murder every man in Indian and French army to capitulate them. Look at these two bits of land. They are 98% towards capitulation. As I said, bad mod design. Yeah, we still have to take this fucking city and burn it to the ground and sprinkle some salt on it. Fucking finally. And no, we are not going to get any peace deal. Like a little separate one. But now we are not going to worry about some silly entente. We need to destroy communism from the Indian subcontinent. As always, nobody can beat me on my defense. This is just embodiment of suffering in a nutshell. I feel like going beyond Afghanistan was a big mistake. So to do shit, I just have to wait until they run out of manpower. It will be soon probably. Very soon. Interesting. I just got and peace deal with French national state and somehow I got and peace deal on Dominion of Delhi. I'm not complaining. I don't know what really happened but uh, now I have a lot of African land and also I'm outside of the war with the Entente. You know I don't care, I take everything what I can. This war is going for so long that I finally have heavy tanks. I have sacrificed so many people just to push to this city. Fucking end me. Few suicide naval invasions later. And we can't still push to their capital city. Finally some breakthroughs but holy fucking shit. The combat system is really bad in Kaiser Redux. I genuinely want to die. This is not fun. Send help. It's finally over. No sir, we just don't pact with the Turks. No, hold there Abdul. The Ottoman diplomat has a point. You know, we could use this alliance to further our goals. And it will start all over again. And now after that epic gamer montage, it is time to unite our empire. Again one small question mark. Oh yeah baby, it gave us 40 new million people to use. So that means that we are going to a second war with Entente from my highway Afghanistan. And also I just noticed that you can do this decision over and over again and it will add another 15 stability so we have infinite stability forever. Now this is an illusion of a choice. You can get battle support doctrine for Muhammad Zahir and battle support doctrine by Mohammed Daud. And now the roles are reversed. I'm not going to swallow dust. Only my enemies will. Yes, this will be like the Soviet Afghan war, but 30 years earlier. Ha, huh, I love these events. It gives me a choice to say whatever I want, because Norway is not in our faction. Yeah, great news, fuck off. <sighs> Who doesn't love to deal with this fucking division over spam? Like yeah, I can barely see my divisions. Now to solve this overpopulation in Central Asia, I made my mission to encircle this shit and kill them. Now everyone, rate my encirclement. So yeah, where is my reddit gold for this shit? Oh, I will have so much reddit karma for this. I can barely see where my divisions are going, but it is beautiful. Everyone say goodbye to your life, because the Mughals are taking them all. Ah yes, we are almost finished with this. Just a second. Finishing the last bits. 
it always feels nice. And that install comment was around 5 million people. Man, I think this was the biggest install comment of my career. I think I will put it into the title of the video. Uh, when the front is finally stabilized, it is time to go to Russia. Mughal, 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 Mughal. Mughalistan. Yeah, it turns out if you kill so many divisions in one pocket, it will be much easier. Afghan, 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 Afghanistan. Kruzit Chorny Chulpan nad beregam reki. Finally, at the gates of Moscow. Ura, Moskva Nasha. My soul is finally free from Russia at least. Now two nightmares combined, winter war plus Afghan war. This song would be about swallowing the snow. Now we just have to march to the east and then somehow illegally immigrate to Canada. Now let me tell you something about bad mod design. Japan is trying to capitulate this little country for at least 3 years now. So you know, I'm here to help. I will cure this with nuclear weapons. Yeah, it took multiple nukes to get to this city. Finally, we will be soon in Canada. If this invasion doesn't fail, obviously. Also, bye bye Tibet. And finally, the Canadian operation is at full swing, but we need to march all the way to these fucking cities. Well, Turkey was eaten by the Third International, so that means that Mughal Empire is the leader of Istanbul Pact. And we don't own Istanbul. This gives me Holy Roman Empire vibes. Ah, finally, MacArthur won the American Civil War in the year 1947. Little too late, I think. But anyway, the war has been going on for so long that I was able to create a western invasion to Canada. You don't even know how bad this conflict was. After this, I won't probably touch Kaiser Redux in a long time. Because this was pure pain. I never understood why we cannot capitulate the whole faction at once. Seems a bit pointless to me to have that faction. But okay. So yeah, tell me, did you enjoy my suffering as Afghanistan because these people clearly do. Anyway, as always, big thanks goes to my channel members, their names are in the description and on the screen right now, and a special thanks goes to Quite Lazy for being the highest channel member.